Can I please uh, call on the actual speaker, uh, the renowned Vanessa Williams from the US, who is going to be touching on uh, your self-worth, self-love, and pride as a woman. Please clap hands for this. This sister dressed herself in the Lord, for he's our strength. She didn't care about the name brand. She didn't care about what the other sisters had to say. She cared about what is God saying when he sees me? Amen. Does he see a reflection of himself? And then she goes on to say, she perceives our merchandise and it is profitable. Her lamp does not go out. There's no lack in our house. This lady's a saver. She understands you don't get the money and spend the money. She understands that you gotta put something away for the rainy day. She has a rainy day flaw, a pause. And then it says she opens her hand to the poor. So she's a giver. It says she's not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her households are clothed in scarlet. I don't know if you know, but scarlet was expensive. This means this sister said, I'm not afraid because I prepared, and not only did I prepare myself, but I was able to buy the best for my family because I was prepared. I even got it on sale. You understand what I'm saying? We don't always have to pay top dollar to be top dollar. As my mother would say, it's not the clothes, it's the woman that sent them. You understand? So sisters, it's not the clothes that make you, it's the woman that's in the clothes. So let's stay focused on that. And then we go on to say, the Lord says, this woman is dressed in fine linen of purple. That means she understood she was royalty. She understood that she wasn't just some regular lady walking around, but that she came from a royal priesthood. She was royalty. Ladies, sisters, you are royalty. So therefore, when you see your sons, know that he's a prince. When you see your daughters, know that you're raising a princess, and we can build kingdoms together. Because God is about kingdom building. And then it says, her husband is known at the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. She brings favor to her family. People are wanting to seek her husband out because he's looking at who he chose and the fact that the brother was strong enough to get her. He said, you've got to have it going on. You've got to be wise because look at your wife. If I look at your wife, I can tell you who you are. And because she's strong and bodacious and vibrant and vivacious and unafraid and unpredictable and entrepreneur and this sister don't care to go down and fight for her sisters because she's a woman, a phenomenal woman. It ends the saying that it's the most important part to me because I'm a mother of six and it says that her children raised up and called her blessed. And her husband confirmed her. So see, I was always taught, it's not what the people outside say about you. It's the people that stay with you. What do they say? Because they see you when the titles are gone and the lights are off and you're not at church saying hallelujah and praise the Lord. You know, you don't have the church in these language going. You're at home speaking that real language you speak. The kids are watching. They say what mommy say and what mommy do and what mommy does. And what do they say after seeing mommy? And if it's I remember one day I was crying because I was upset. And I was really upset about something that had nothing to do with God. And I don't cry in front of my children. I was in my room to myself and my son didn't knock and he walked in the room and he saw me. And he said, I'm sorry, Mom, I apologize. And I said, oh, it's no problem. I said, what do you need, Lou? He said, no, no, I don't want to interrupt your time with the Lord. <laughs> Now, I was under my breath calling folks all kind of 
names. It wasn't of the Lord. But for my son to come in and say, I'm sorry, Mom, I don't want to interrupt your time with the Lord. It was a good feeling that he felt like if my mom is shedding a tear, it's not because she's troubled. It's because she's going. Upset, always crying, always begging for bread. No, I got a mom that'll take it to Jesus. Okay. And the sister, you said something that was so real. We raise our daughters and we tell our sons to grow up. We got to start raising our sons. And if there's a charge that I'll leave you with, and I'm now leaving, <laughs> it is this we got to raise our sons. Yes. Because we have to show them the women that they have to marry. Yeah. We gotta be that model. And just like our husbands have to show our daughters, I love my husband, why? My husband reminds me of my daddy. That's true. Might offend some, oh well, it's my truth. I'm sticking to it. Because I love my father, and my father was a hard working man who loved his family. I'm not surprised I found a hard working man that loves his family. and my grandmother and my grandfather and I said I want to mimic that because children mimic what they see not what we say but what they see so we got to start letting them see the right thing I had a couple of more things but I'm going to let the Lord use this sister over here and I'm going to be obedient and go take my seat tell y'all I love you and I'm glad that I'm here thank you